will be setting up Octobonds and uh, my Gretsch set. This is a uh, 1985 uh, Tony Williams setup, uh, Red Rosewood. Bought it in uh, Indiana, like I said, in 1985. And it's going to incorporate uh, a set of uh, Tama Octobonds, high pitched, which I bought in 1981, also in Indiana. Here we go. Here's your octagon bases. They've come a long way since uh, since back then. These have been used and abused. They've had a lot of shows, but they've done me very well. I always thought the high-pitched octagon sounded a lot better. Not too many people around where I was from used them. I think I was the first. Here's the base tops, or the tops for these. Hammer. That. One of these, if you notice, has been bent. I can get a close up on this. See this? One of these was bent. See that? They're playing a club in Peoria, Illinois, very small club, and this drunk came up and slammed right into my drum kit and bent this pipe. Now it would take a lot to bend a pipe like this. I mean, that's had to hurt in the morning. In fact, I had the same problem last night drunk came up, hit the deck, plowed right into my basement. Okay, here's the first two high pitch ones, the lowest, or the highest, I should say. Most of the heads are all original, so you're talking 1981, 82, never really changed the heads on these things. I painted them every once in a while, so they're not in the best of shape, but they still sound killer. If anybody ever thought about getting Tama Octavon, you should get some because they really help and incorporate the sound of your kit. I've used them for just excess percussion. They're, they're really nice. They're really nice. Jet black. Got a little. You know, Stuart Copeland used them from the police. Billy Cobbin, Mike Portnoy, among others. sure how they're going to sound. I haven't played them in a while. They might be out of tune, so bear with me, okay? All you YouTubers out there that like to knock everybody, just keep your mouth shut. But I won't let you listen to them. Now, I don't have a hi-hat or anything, but I do have some cymbals here. Artillery of Zildjian, Sabians, Amir Zildjians. Remember them. Another road warrior here. 16 inch medium thin crash. If you noticed, it's got some real nice uh, cracks in that. You see that? Nice crack, but I tell you what, 20 something years old, she still kicks ass. Another Zildjian, it's about 17 inch. Good sound. Good sound. Uh, we'll use a 
15 inch uh, hi hat top over here. Flashes, six, eight, and uh, twelve. Twenty-inch ride, twenty-inch swish, all that good stuff. All right, if I find my drumsticks, we might just do some playing. My wife and I's 18th anniversary tonight. So this is how we're spending it. She's in front of the computer and I'm playing the drums. You gotta love that. So here we go. See, I told you they're out of tune. But that's alright. You can tune them any, hey, any way you want. I prefer them high. Like I said, these heads are all basically original. And uh, I'm too cheap to buy new ones. That's a uh, six inch pin strike. Not sounding very good. Not sounding too good, but we'll just tune them up here a little bit. Like I said, they're high pitched and I love them. 